Hello everyone, uh, my name is Michael. Um, I'm not here to ask for any money. Uh, what I do want to talk to you today about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I found Jesus late in life, it's only been about 10 years for me. Some of the people uh, um, some of the people I'm here with have been believers much longer than that. Uh, but this means that it's never too late. The power of God is infinite and truly no words can really express his might. In my lowest blow when I had a handful of pills in one hand, a bottle of liquor in another, but something came over me and stopped me. Not something, someone. Um, I was convinced that I couldn't go on, but someone stopped me. As you go about today, go about your day, think about this. There's no problem he can't help you with, and there's no sin he won't forgive you for. I know most of you are probably familiar with the song Amazing Grace, the line that says, I, that says, how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. I am wretched, I do not deserve anything I have. This life I do not deserve that I have. But because Jesus died on the cross, he makes that false. I am a wretched sinner, but through Jesus, that is no longer true. So I ask you, what do you deserve? Come to Jesus. I want to read a quick excerpt from the book of Matthew. Today I'm giving out books of John, but I want to read this one of my favorite verses. Matthew 11, 28-30. It says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I was filled with so much anger and hatred before I found Jesus. I was angry at my ex-wife, my parents, and my friends, everyone. And in my own ego, I couldn't see that my, my own sin. When I first started believing, I had an arrogance about myself, thinking that I was better than you. He was better than everyone who wasn't a believer. And that hatred, anger, and prejudice were no longer present one day when I finally saw the Lord. The line that did it for me was a pastor who was giving a sermon. He said, we have more in common with Hitler than we do Jesus. No sin is too great. And all are forgiven through the death and resurrection of Jesus. And if you profess with your mouth that he died for your sins, you will have eternal life. That's John 3.16. Please take a book of John with you as you go with your day. Thank you for your time. Attention passengers, the next time right you're on train to Forest Hills is now approaching. The following, Forest Hills, 